Hi everyone and welcome to this Fantasy Art Friday video. This week, after reading through your suggestions, I decided to work on a drawing of an orc. Uh, during the sketching and the outlining process, for the layout of this drawing, I wanted to work on a portrait of the orc's head, poking out of a comic panel, and I wanted to make sure that I had parts of its head overlapping the panel to make it look like it's kind of popping out of the page. Um, I tried to add a few additional features, like a nose ring, a face paint, uh, along with broken teeth and some chunks taken out of its ear, uh, probably from like the many battles it's been a part of, and I also added a scar across its eye. For the outlines, I mainly used a Copic Modliner SP 0.03mm, and I made sure to spend extra time on them to keep them as smooth as possible, especially around the outer edges that were kind of the most obvious. I also tried to change up some of the line thickness for areas where I was going to place more shading later on, and for that I used a Pigma Micron 03. Once the outlines were completed, it was then time for the colouring, and for the colouring of this drawing I used Copic markers, and for the skin tones I started off with a base layer of green-grey, and I actually added a couple of layers of this to some areas to kind of help me decide where I was going to place more shading later on. Then over the top of that, for the shading, I used a pale olive marker first, and then for even darker shading I used olive. Uh, in a few of these areas that I wanted to be a bit more highlighted, I blended outwards with lime green and even a little hint of buttercup yellow. Then, to add an even warmer tone to areas like the nose and the lips, I also blended a little bit of a blush marker. And I'm glad that I did this because it blended so well over the top of the green. After I'd added all of this colouring to the orc's face, I decided to start placing more shading in some areas, like the eyes and underneath the nose, mouth and the cheekbone. Um, I used cool grey markers for this, ranging between cool grey 3, 5 and 7, along with a black marker for some extremely dark areas. I'm actually very happy with the effects the cool grey markers gave, giving a, a cool tone to some of the shaded areas that kind of helps to contrast the warmer tones of the highlighted areas. After that, to define some of the wrinkles on the skin amongst some of the darker shading that I just added, I used a white Prismacolor pencil to add some highlighting. And I really love using this pencil because I think it's a great way to retain details like this. For the colouring of the orc's eyes, I used brown and crimson markers for the irises, along with light pink and buttercup yellow for the white of the eyes. Then, to add some extra detail to them, I added some shading with cool greys and some bright highlights with my Uniball white ink pen. Um, I also added a few of these highlights around the other areas of the orc's face, including the nose and the mouth, to help make these features stand out a little bit more. For the colouring of the teeth, I used Buttercup Yellow and Cool Grey 1 and 3, and then for the nose ring, I blended between Cool Grey 3 and 5, making sure to continue adding more highlights to these areas as well. I then continued colouring in the rest of the orc's head, using the same process with the green grey, the pale olive and the olive markers, along with the cool grey shading, uh, also adding some colouring to the scar with light pink, before also colouring in the face paint with the white Prismacolor pencil. I also made use of the white pencil to add some scuff marks to some areas of the skin, uh, just adding another layer of detail to ensure the skin didn't look too smooth. And then when it came to colouring the ear, I also made use of the blush marker to add a warm tone, uh, similar to the nose and the mouth. Once those details were complete, it was time to work on the orc's hair and beard, and I used Cool Grey 5 to add a base layer to these areas, and then I used Cool Grey 7 to add a layered effect, adding shading underneath some of the locks of hair. Then, to add even more texture to these areas, I also used my white Prismacolor pencil to add a bunch of stray hairs all over the place. Lastly, I added some colouring to the orc's neck, using the same colouring processes as before, but making it much darker this time. Um, I also added some extremely dark shading over the top of it with the black marker, then blending outwards with cool grey 7 and 5. Um, I wanted this shading to kind of help the effect that the orc's head is actually poking out of the panel, um, and hopefully that had a cool kind of 3D effect to it. Um, after this, I added some final touches using the white Prismacolor pencil and the white ink pen to add some texturing, and then the drawing was completed. Overall, this drawing took about 5 hours to complete, and I found it really enjoyable to work on. 
it gave me this opportunity to use a few different markers that I hadn't actually used much before, so that's made it quite a fun challenge. So please let me know what you think, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, then please make sure you're subscribed, and any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. If you'd like to follow my progress and see progress photos before I post these videos, then please check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you all soon.